we're here in Bonn, uh, one of the key things the negotiators are talking about is loss and damage. So what loss and damage means is when the impacts of climate change go beyond what it's possible to adapt to. So for instance, if your land is slowly becoming desert and you can't grow crops on it anymore, that's not possible to adapt to and that's what we call loss and damage. If your island country or your low-lying um, country is being inundated by sea level rise, and that's also not possible to adapt to eventually, uh, and that's well, that's another example of loss and damage. So it's as you can see, it's a really crucial an important part of what we're negotiating in the global climate agreement in the lead up to Paris. So it's absolutely important that it be a core part of the Paris climate agreement on its own. And that's one of the key things that we're asking for. We also want to make sure that it has enough um, background behind it, enough institutions that we can help the poorest and the most vulnerable people deal with these impacts of climate change loss and damage as they face them and that they have enough finance to do so. So all of those things are on the table here in Bonn. It's a very hard fought area. Um, developing countries among whom are the poorest and the most vulnerable people really want us to deal with this as part of the Paris Agreement. Developed countries, the rich countries, don't want us to deal with it as part of the Paris Agreement, largely because they don't want to pay for it. So we have um, two diverse opinions on loss and damage. It's all to play for now. It's very hard to tell what we will end up with at Paris, but for the poorest and the most vulnerable people facing the worst impacts of climate change, it's absolutely essential that they know we're standing there behind them and that we're, we're willing to help them with the institutions they need and the finance they're going to need to deal with the worst impacts of climate change.